Okay, so let's do something, um, and this is kind of something I've been building up for a while now. Um, probably early on in high school, I just started to get a lot of you know direct mail uh, marketing from colleges, and I think it's something a lot of people see. Uh, you know, you know, you take the SAT, put your stuff on the college board or the, or the PSAT, you know, whatever it is. Um, and they're just starting earlier and earlier now getting these kids in their system and you know getting their addresses their information and something really interesting if you're in the space or if you're sort of in education um, that comes out of it is a lot of mail um, so this is kind of like meant to be a way to look at how it grows and kind of reflecting on the overall actions of it so if you're a student or if you care about the environment this is an important thing so here's the mail sort of for the past month this stuff right here is like just you know spam stuff it's like marketing the sort of stuff you'd expect in kind of like a spammy email um, the stuff over here this is a very very short pile um, those are you know acceptance letters and um, and then this slightly larger pile is like financial aid letters. So those are probably the two piles of documents that actually matter um, and are going to affect how I look at these schools based on personalization of here's how my application went, here's my financial aid. This is kind of like the past month of just like garbage spam and it's really interesting and I'm going to go and we're going to explore a little bit more of what I've been kind of collecting for the past four years um, because I think it's really interesting how these colleges send, you know, so much crap with direct mail, or with email, and how they just mark it really hard to all, I don't know if it's all potential students, but like, I mean, they just hammer email inboxes, direct mail, um, and then it's, you know, visit, 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 or, um, you know, apply, 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 apply. And it's like how the college system has turned, uh, well, I mean, it's just so weird because here, we'll, we'll check this out, right? So here are um, the these three big boxes. They're just totally freaking full of, um, of all this, you know, direct mail crap. And it's just such a waste of, you know, paper, the environment, time, energy. I mean, it's just like file cabinets and file cabinets of mail. And it's, it's like crazy, right? You're looking at a time commitment to write this stuff. You're looking at an environmental commitment to print it and then to ship it. You know, you've got trucks going just to get it to the destination. And, you know, all of a sudden you're looking at all of this, all these resources wasted just to get physical mail sent to potential students to market um, you know college and it's like it's so kind of bogus it's like what are these guys trying to do because you look at it right and it's like here um, they've got you know emails right and they're sending kids emails for sure and they're going really hard in that aspect of it to the extent that they've essentially got everyone in their system going hard with how they want to market it or push their school but I mean, this kind of stuff is just, it's crazy, right? There's so much crap that they just like stick in the mail. And it's like, ugh, truckloads of mail. Um, I don't wanna like pour these boxes out right now. I'm gonna do videos soon where, you know, I look more at how these guys, uh, I mean, honestly, right, like it's just, so much stuff it's like a whole a whole thing of that and it's it's ludicrously heavy so you know you collect it over time and that's not even accounting for all the envelopes that they use to ship the stuff so you know I open you know all that uh, all the mail and it's like you think you're doing the right thing by you know looking at colleges and preparing for your future by educating yourself about what university has what and um, what's going to be a, a good fit right with where you look at um, and it, it and it's it's so like if that was how it was right then how are they and why are they sending so much 
direct mail marketing materials like you read these letters and they're like literally sales letters it's just copy about why you should go to this university and you know a lot you know and it's weird because like you know the, the ivy leagues or you know whatever the, the best schools are um you know education wise ranking wise there those are the schools where you'll get the least mail right because they like have their uh value established and they're in the marketplace as a predominant player so they don't have to worry as much about growing their reputation um and it's like they just have a total disconnect from you know uh the university of Scray scranton is the one on top over there I mean, it's like, what, like, what are the, there's so many of these colleges where it's like, what is this? Like, I've never heard of this in my life. There's probably not a single chance uh, that, you know, you would go there. And, you know, the worst part is they probably get three to 4% conversion, you know, with this kind of marketing, it probably costs them, you know, uh, what, 25 cents a stamp and maybe like uh, a couple pennies to print the stuff. Maybe they spend, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 dollars, 40 whole dollars over the course of maybe four or five years to um, to push and push and push these students, you know, and I don't know about those numbers. It might even be less, right? But you're going to have kids and they're totally going to respond to that. And it's like selling them a future, selling them uh, success and sustainability and whatever it is they want to work in, where they want to grow towards. Um, and you see the university selling it. It's like, hey, look, we're number one. We have job placements. We have uh, rankings. We have uh, high quality professors. And it's all, and it's just sort of like selling college. And it's really interesting because you see it as a nonprofit system, and you know they're pretty much all nonprofits. But they operate and you know rake in students um, on really business level settings and just how they go about it is it such a corporate way that it kind of makes you question right like what are we getting here i'll tell you one thing um that i never got a single piece of mail for uh is is the library right uh what's the library it's essentially free knowledge for sources anything you could want to work in um and instead of paying fifty thousand a year or i don't know 20 30 after aid um you know to get an education you can walk in the library ask for a library card um and you know you can just walk out with books right and it's like these are ways to learn this is education um and you're getting you know like a class right where you'll see guys teach out of books or maybe you'll go up you have to graduate right you need to have a bunch of different degrees and fields that you just don't care about and it's like maybe you don't want to learn about strength finders um you know, this is like a school book and it's like reading, you know, English literature might not be your thing, but maybe you're into like a bunch of different areas of your life you want to grow in. Um, and that's something you can do, right? You just walk in the library and it's free. You get books uh, and you can learn about whatever you want, you know, like how to sell yourself uh, and marketing and how this stuff comes to be where you've got piles and piles. I mean, it's probably like 40, 50 pounds of mail um that's getting pushed through the system for one kid this is one single you know i'm gonna do a, a video soon enough right we're gonna pour all this mail out uh probably after college decision times um or maybe before right but like pour it all out and and just look at like how much crap there is because i don't want to make a giant mess today but it's just like file cabinets and file it's huge and you look at that and it, it's like for what right for what you know, like book, you know, these books, right? They're like, they're book, they're long, you know, people's parts of their lives went into writing them. And they're a whole different gateway to looking at the world and looking at yourself and growing your insights and knowledge and learning new things. You know, you go to college for English or you go for liberal arts and it's like, what are you really working on there? You know, if you have a very specific skill that you want to acquire to have a very profound impact in a very specific part of the marketplace, you know, get a book, read it, 
and, uh, and grow your insights in that regard so that you can apply the specific tactics and strategies that other people have worked, you know, maybe their whole lives. Some of these books, you know, it's like, you know, Think or Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. We did a video about that book. Uh, you know, the guy spent two and a half decades, 25 years writing that book. And to think that I have almost never seen an advertisement or gotten a piece of direct mail uh, for any educational series in that, you know, part of my life or any, you know, direct mail ad that's like, hey, buy this book and improve your life. It just doesn't happen. Similarly, with the best universities, they send extremely little mail. They don't do much marketing. It's like you're interested. You know, that's great. You know, do whatever you want. Um, so when you see people pushing uh, for these university classes, and it's not like marketing's bad and advertising's bad. That's not at all what I'm trying to say here. Um, because I, you know, if you have something of tremendous value in the marketplace and you have a way to change people's lives by bringing them a product or service uh, that improves the value of their lives for, you know, multiples and multiples of what they invest in, it's great. And you see that with these programs, right? You know, you go to school for a couple hundred grand sometimes. Um, it just kind of depends on, on how you are. You know, you can get careers, they say, you know, strong salaries. It's an investment in your future. Um, but it's really interesting to see that versus other traditional means where like, you know, books are like $10 or $20, maybe $30 on the high end. And those can really transfer someone's whole life knowledge to you versus, um, and, and it's very specific to that and not as markety as sending, you know, buckets and buckets of mail. So it's something I've been thinking about for a while now. Um, and now that, you know, it is time to really decide what to do with college and uh, go into the yeah, major and uh, grow in that regard. Uh, it's it's pretty interesting time in my life. Um, but one of the biggest things with the reflection and all of the biggest colleges in my you know top colleges I'm looking at right now, um, I mean, none of them were sending you know, boatloads of mail. It was just like a little information here or here. Um, you know, it wasn't like 20 letters in a year or, you know, five, 10, you know, phone calls from admissions representatives just kind of like spamming people and saying, hey, do you have any questions? And it's like you take students and they're just like trying to get an education and build a better life in college. And, and they're the ones that get trapped. They get forced to go on the, uh, the board and, and have to call people and say, and market to them, you know, pretty much every day uh, or during, you know, hours where they're not, you know, working on their education. Um, you've got kids that are forced to do that. And it's really an interesting, uh, dilemma because at one hand you know you really do want kids to get a good education and grow their professional careers but you're looking at the best way to do that and the most valuable way to do that so that um, you know they're not overwhelmed right I mean I applied to 70 colleges and it's like a lot of stuff to look at in that space uh, because you just have so much crap coming in uh, and his especially hard and it's a big decision right so um, by adding that marketing in and just putting that huge influx of options in front of kids I think it at a certain point can get rid of a lot of clarity and make it a tougher decision individually and really for the collective institute of kids they just have maybe not as good of an idea of where they want to be anymore. And it just sucks. It just really sucks. So um, that's my story on mail. Uh, we got, you know, buckets and buckets of these things. Um, but it's really interesting, you know. It took a couple of years to fill up, like, you know, three filing cabinets worth of mail. Or, but, like, it's still, you know, just crazy to think of how that works and just how they can keep sending it so that 
at a certain point, it's like, is this really wasteful? And they just don't, you know, they don't stop, you know? So what do you guys think if you're in the process? Mail or no mail? It's a very interesting way to market. And I think it's effective to a point, but you, you just too much of it. It's just not good. And it's a really big problem, I think, for environment and the delivery services and we'll see how it grows but it's the same thing with email right you get boatloads of emails from this stuff and it's just so many options and overwhelming kids with like literally hundreds and hundreds and you know just email after email from all these different universities like apply here apply here um why to consider us the values of this university and just giving kids the space to make their own educated decisions I think, especially from a nonprofit point of view, is is just a better way to let kids grow the way they want to grow, um, and giving them the resources to discover new ways um, to push themselves in the future if they know that what they want to do and where to go there, um, how to get there, and it's interesting, especially if you look at kids who just aren't 100% sure, because that's when this kind of marketing really can have an impact. Is um, if they're still looking for where to go. I think it's a complex problem for sure. So we'll see how it turns out. Just tell me what you think below. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.